Okay, I thought I'd do this video on the binary number system because uh, there was a quiz show called The Chase here in Australia and England and uh, the contestant got, got it wrong. They, was, they tried to convert 1-1 uh, one, one to binary and it was so simple. The answer is 3, which you'll find out very soon how easy it is to uh, do. But uh, the guy got it wrong and I thought I'd better, uh, better teach everyone how to use binary, how to how a binary number system works because um, I thought everyone knew how it works. So I've got a background in computing, uh, engineering, electronic engineering and so forth and worked uh, with uh, micro microcontrollers and, and uh, chip level, you know, and I learned Boolean algebra and all that sort of thing. So I've got a fair grounding in this and I thought uh, I should be able to teach this in about five minutes really. So uh, let's get stuck into it. So I've got my, um, there we go, got to my uh, iPhone 7 there. So let, let's get stuck in it. Let's, let's do a bit of background first. Um, let's talk about number systems. So with binary, it's a, uh, it's called a uh, base, base two number system. Uh, what we use in everyday life is called the decimal system. I think you're all aware of that. And that is a base ten. And also in uh, computing and so forth, you have a number system called hexadecimal. And that is base sixteen. And uh, so you've got 0 to 9 and also you've got um, A to F. <clears throat> Alright, so let's look at uh, how the decimal system really works and we, then we can transfer it over to the uh, binary system. So really, let's, let's look at it in boxes. And so I'll have, let's do four boxes here. So in the first box, that value really is uh, 10 to the power of 0 and so you got numbers from 0 to 9 in that also the next box you have 10 to the power of 1 so all the 10's go in there 10 to the power of 2, 10 to the power of 3 so really when you're writing out a number say as like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1,234 what you're really doing is saying 1 times 10 to the power of 3 which is 1,000 plus 2 times 10 to the power of 2, which is 200, plus 3 times 10 to the power of 1, which is 30, plus 4 times 10 to the power of 0, anything to the power of 0 is 1, so 4 times 1 is 4, and that's how you get the number 1, 2, 3, 4. And uh, similarly, you can, you can do that with the binary system. Instead of a base 10 with the four boxes, you've got a base 2. So, Logically here you've got 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3. And what that converts to is 1, 2, 4 and 8. And you can keep going here forever. So with the question what is uh, 1, 1, there's a question on the chase, it's really just 1 times 2 to the power of 0, which is 1, plus 1 times 2 to the power of 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 equals 3. Alright, so let's get another sheet of paper and we'll keep working on this. So it's really that simple. So let's draw up, and you can work backwards as well. So if you want to convert uh, a big number to binary, uh, let's just let's do some more boxes here. So you got 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4, 2 to the power of 5, 2 to the power of 6. That equals 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. So if you wanted to, let's move this across so you can see it better. So if you wanted a number, say, let's, let's pick a number out, say 100. Mm, 100, let's do 123, 123. So you look here, so ne next uh, box would be 2 to the power of 7, which is 128. So if you take 128 from 123, you'll get a negative number, so that's not going to work. 
So the next, next highest number is 64. So you put a one there. Take 64 from here. One, two, 59. All right, so then you've got uh, 32. If you take 32 from there, you won't get a negative number. So put a one in there. Take 32 from there. 7, 27. Put another one there because that doesn't doesn't go over the limit. So 27 minus 16 is 11. So let's put another one there, and we get 11 minus 8 is 3. So now I've got a problem because if you put a one there, you're going to get a minus one when you take it away. So you have to put a zero here, and then. As shown previously, 3 is 1 and 1, so if you want to do it very simply, just put a 1 there, take my 1, 1 there, minus 1, and you've used up everything. So, 123 decimal, or 123 base 10, equals 0, or you can put a 0 there if you like, so it equals 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, and we can... Uh, we can probably go online and uh, let's see if we've got a converter there just to just to prove that I did it right. Uh, let's put decimal to binary converter and I'll show you this in Safari. Uh, we should be able to get Safari here and rapid tables. So I can just to plug it, plug it straight in. Ah, oh, here we go. Enter decimal number, one, two, three. Convert to binary. And if we show you the result there, it's the same. <laughs> one, 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 zero, one, one. And there we go, guys. That is how you convert from binary to decimal and decimal back to binary again it's as simple as that so I hope you hope you enjoyed that video I enjoyed making it. I'll, I'll probably do probably do some more of these videos um, I've got a fair bit of knowledge in electronics and computing and that sort of thing and uh, I want to do maybe do some hexadecimal maybe some boolean algebra uh, do some logic gates that sort of thing uh, very interesting very interesting subjects uh, got some little maths tricks as well that I want to share uh, over the years you develop little maths tricks um, little things like that so uh, give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of this sort of material and uh, give a thumbs down if you're not <laughs> but um, I'm sure it will help everyone it's just interesting knowledge so uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time and enjoy the uh, the knowledge of binary number system <laughs> okay bye